Oh, buddy, let's get on down to the water, hey. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Today we're in uh, my hometown, Ryland. Whitewater, Michigan. <laughs> Whitewater, Michigan. We're going down some heavy rapids on this Uper evening. Yaddery. Yaddery. You got to get fishing, don't you, bud? Heck yeah. Giving her. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Just go fishing, baby! That's how we do it. That's how you get to the lake. Fast, boy! Welcome back to Just Coast Fishing. I'm Soda Pop. I'm Jordan. And today here we are at, we're at Buck Lake. We're actually in my hometown in Rylander. And you can see behind us, it's a foggy overcast in the lake. It's only supposed to hit about 70 degrees today, clear skies. About 6, 10 in the morning. And why don't you tell the folks what kind of fish we're targeting today? We're targeting some largemouth bass. I have caught about eight pounders out of here. We're searching for a 10 today. We're gonna try to show you how to catch some August largemouth. All right, well, let's get fishing, buddy, eh? Woo, let's Just get cause. it. Just cause, baby. So, we're about to film our intro, and man, that kayak adventure, when it hits a tree, oh, ouch. Right now, I'm just throwing the black and blue chatterbait around this cover and these trees. Probably when it gets warmer out, I'll probably pitch it again. Let's sink a little bit here. I'm just gonna do it, move it slow and just give it a couple pops. Move it slow, give it a pop. Move it slow, give it a pop. Cause the fish are just, you know, if they're just following that bait and you give it that sp sporadic action, that could trigger them to just give them that strike. Throwing out a dark colored craw here. And we're gonna send her up by shore. Still just popping around this dark colored jig here. Popping it off this point. Oh, it has missed one. Well, I just messed up my cast, guys. As you can see, I probably will be done using that rod today. Oh boy. Hooked up to a tanker, guys. Hooked up to a tank. I think I might have lost them because I'm in lily pads. I don't know if I still have them, man. That was a toad. Oh, he's still on there. Got me all wrapped in this tree down here. Oh. Dude, this thing's big, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it neither. He's got me wrapped in a tree. Dude, he's still on, Jordan. Hooked up, guys, with the lunker look.
Got him. Heck yeah, guys. Last large me. Heck yeah. All right. Let's get him back. Woo! Just like that. That's what I'm using. Black and blue lunker log from Guggen. I'm a Texas rig, weightless. Just pitching these shores early morning. Up in this wood, cause largemouth love wood. Just letting it sit, giving it a couple jerks. Pretty much just dead sticking it. Around all this cover. Whew, that's a nice cast. See if we can get one on this one. Like again, guys, I'm just casting out, letting it sit. Popping it every once in a while. One, two, and then one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. That's all I'm doing, guys. One, two. Letting it sit. Throw it slack. One, two, three. Just gonna give it another wing out there, a little closer in the shore. Right on the edge of some cover, something just ate it. Boom, got him. Oh, got me wrapped under some dang logs again. I got him on this one. Yep, he's wrapped though. Lost him. Lost him, guys. Just lost him. Hooked up to a little guy, guys. Yeah. There he is. Whew. Heck yeah, guys. Yeah, fella. Just cause, baby, just cause fishing. That's why I'm out here. That's why me and Jordan are out here early. Little guys, but there's big ones in here. Me and Jordan both hooked up to a very big fish today. Lost him, unfortunately. Oh, that's the first fish of the day. It's just a little guy, but he's goldy. Check them out. Pretty cute. Just cause fish it, baby. Mwah. So right now we're throwing the trench hog. That was actually my first fish I ever caught using a Guggen bait too. I guess it's kind of neat. Another little guy. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Off he goes. Just like that, folks. Hooked up guys, hooked up on another bass here. Just run on the wacky rig. Heck yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I got him. Woo!
Heck yeah, guys. Look at that little dinker. Hell yeah. Oh, there goes my paddle. Woo! Just cause, baby. Just cause. Here, fishy, 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 fishies. Oh, just missed one. I got a Texas rigged uh, wacky worm. Got one. Got one. Yeah. Booyah. Another one. Thanks for biting, little guy. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Heck yeah. Dude, honestly, yeah. I I just caught my first two fish on this on the trench uh, yeah on the trench hog, literally as soon as it touched the water the first time. Uh -huh. One hooked up. Another little donk. Another cute little guy. Three little guys, and me and Soda Poppy chucked up to a big one today. Really? Still throwing the trench hog here. Missed him.
Alright. We'll catch up. A lot of little guys out today. That's for certain. Check it with the Guggen bait hanging out its mouth. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with these Guggen baits, not gonna lie. It's held up pretty good. It's not too tore up yet. I mean, it's getting tore up pretty bad, but it's still usable. I'm still catching fish, you know? Back to back. This one's a lot smaller than the last. Okay, bud. All right, I guess if that's how you want to do this. <laughs> See you later. Not mad. There sure seems to be a lot of little guys in here, but I'm trying to find the big one. Yeah, bigger one guys not by very much but he's the biggest of the day that's for sure say a two pounder at least maybe just a one one and a half he's 16 inches all day Off he goes. He crushed it too. That bass definitely ate that bait hard. I'm glad to have gotten something a little bit bigger. That's definitely positive vibes here. We weren't really catching anything of size, just a bunch of little tiny guys. Now, now it's actually plausible to catch a big one well we had two big hookups already but that was it oh we're hooked up to a bigger one again yes he's fighting pretty good i don't know what, how big he is not very big not very big at all but he's not a bad size. All right, buddy, let's get you back in the world. Well, he was pretty decent sized. I'd say about 15 inches, maybe a half a pound, to three quarters of a pound. He took one of my legs off my damn bait. That's not very cool. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put on a new one. Still fishing the shore, still using the trench hog. 
Honestly, I'm a type of person that when something is still working, I'm still going to use it. And, you know, you could switch baits and try similar things and see if anything works better. But this thing has just been crushing them today. So I'm not going to complain with that. I'm not going to change up. Now I'm going to go catch the monster that's in this little uh, little bay area here. I know there's one in here. I just know it. There's a big one. Oh, yeah. No, he's gone. I just knew there was going to be a big guy over here, too. They're just stacked around these shores, ready to eat my trenchy. All the little guys today. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cute. Mwah. They're all pretty cute to me. Off she goes. Over here. Ah, get me out of this fuck. Get me out of the tree. Ow. There's another decent little guy. Send him back home. Choked it. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, that's bad. That's the first bass on the crankbait for the day. On the square bill. Boy, they just really love splashing me, don't they? Well, guys, my battery on my GoPro is almost dead, so if you don't see any more fish catches, that means we probably ended the day because both of the GoPro batteries are dead, so I am logging off of Just Cause Fishing. So I will... Uh, catch back base with you our next video don't forget to go like and subscribe our last videos don't forget to like and subscribe this video and drop a comment tell me what you guys want to see more of tell me what you guys like i love making videos for you guys so peace just caught this one Woo! Hell yeah. heck yeah buddy Hey, just goes fishing. Just goes. Pop up. Go. Cool. Cool. There's another one.
That's a decent one. There you go. So like that. Off he goes. Well guys, we're off the water here today and we had a fantastic day fishing. Absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal. Uh, uh, caught just tons of fish each. We had a great day. And for the it's knowledge, crazy. just for us, we know when it's a, when it's heavier clouds that the bass will be moving more. And when it's sunnier like this, they're up in the wood, up in the cover. And as you watch a video, you'll see us trying a lot of baits, but we knew they were going to be up in the cover today. So we just stuck to it and flipped a bunch of plastics today and had to just, a just nailed it. Day. Just I loved straight it. I loved nailed them. Awesome. Uh, as always, if you like the video, please make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn the bell on. So, you know, you get notified when we make another video. Well, let's get her back home and start editing this video, huh? Yep. Just cause fishing. Just cause. Never stop guys. Never stop. Never fishing. give up. One of the biggest things that I can't stress enough is that you always, 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 always keep trying different baits until you dial it in. All right. And if it's just not working on one spot, you can always move to another. But no matter what, never stop trying. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Take care. Just because fishing.